Okay, so now we would see uh, some generalization of Ito's formula. We are not going to prove these results, we are going to state these results, okay, which is immediate, immediate in the sense that uh, exactly the similar uh, uh, techniques is required. This is just multidimensional version of that, okay. So, imagine that your x uh, semi martingale is not a real valued but Euclidean space valued, okay. So, imagine, so let us uh, start reading from here. So, let m uh, be a rd valued, okay, Euclidean space valued ft adapted process and that is continuous local martingale, okay, and a is also rd valued adapted process of bounded variation if a0 is 0 and if we add you know mt, at and some x0 which is f0 measurable, then what we are going to get is a semi martingale, okay. So, if we consider this semi martingale xt, and then you know function f is uh, just a function of time okay earlier our function f was not explicitly dependent on time t okay only dependent on the space x but here we allow f to be a function of time and also function of xt okay xt is coming from rd so it is the domain is close 0 to open infinity and cross rd okay cartesian product of these two sets and we need to assume some kind of you know differentiability of f otherwise we cannot write down the Ito's formula here we consider f to be c12 one means it is once differentiable with respect to time and twice differentiable with respect to space then the statement of the theorem says that with probability 1 for all t we are going to get this equality. what is the equality left hand side you have f of t x t uh, and then right hand side you have this is the value of f evaluated at time 0 and the process also at 0, so starting point, so value of function at 0. And uh, then we have uh, some other integral terms, first term is the first order derivative of f with respect to the first variable. So, del del t of f denotes the first order derivative of f with respect to the first variable, where that function is evaluated at point s x s and then this is because this becomes a function of s and you integrate that with respect to s from 0 to t okay so then you get a process I mean, by varying t you are going to get a various different random variables you are going to get a stochastic process with respect to time t and then this term is the first order derivative of f with respect to the second variable but second variable is multidimensional it has a d number of components so one needs to take the gradient from here like you know you one has to take all the derivatives so we take sum of that i is equal to 1 to d del del x i of f of s x s x i is stands for actually i wanted to write the small x is a typo so, so del del is small x i stands for a derivative of f with respect to the ith component of space variable okay and then integrate with respect to the bounded variation process eh? I mean that is also part of the Ito's formula which, which you see that okay with respect to bounded variation process and with respect to the local martingale process okay. So, this is the only new term we are seeing here because we have uh, taken f to be a function which depends on time explicitly okay. So, that is why you are getting uh, this extra term and here uh, so this is uh, uh, integration with respect to uh, AS and this part is uh, the stochastic integration of del f del x i with respect to m i s okay and then there is a remaining term that is uh, there is a typo this will be small s here so this is summation half times summation over all possible i and j del 2 del x i del x j f of s x s uh, then quadratic covariation of m i and m j d m i m j uh, s okay and then uh, the integration sign is also missing there should be an integration sign here uh, 0 to t okay so this is uh, the multidimensional it was formula okay so there is another important result okay so this is integration by parts formula okay consider two semi martingles x and y x is uh, having the decomposition x0 plus m plus b where y is having the decomposition y0 plus n plus c where m and n are continuous local martingles and b and c are adapted bounded variation processes 
okay and then b0 c0 is equal to 0 so this is these are the two uh, semi martingos then we know that uh, product of x and y x t y t is equal to x0 y0 plus integration 0 to t x s d y s plus integration 0 to t y s d x s plus the quadratic covariation of m and n okay at time t okay so that appears okay so this is the e, uh, uh, integration bypass formula actually if you compare um, uh, this formula with the classical calculus uh, bypass formula you would get all this term except this one okay so this is also uh, one uh, very important result but this result is related to one property of brownian motion that uh, brownian motion has quadratic variation as an identity function what does it mean that the quadratic variation process of b uh, uh, b is a brownian motion quadratic variation process of b is nothing but the time itself so we are going to see the detailed proof of that in another class okay so here for the time being we assume that result okay so for uh, explanation you can see that uh, this result is actually saying that the reverse is also true what is the reverse statement of that that let x be continuous rd valued adapted ft process such that the difference of the process with the in, uh, initial value so that you get uh, a, another process which starts from zero okay i mean just the for just for the sake of starting from zero we just subtract the process by its i mean subtract the initial point from the process so the initial uh, value becomes zero now this mkt if that is a continuous local martingale and its components uh, it has is vector correct it has a deep number of uh, components so and for every component i and pair of components i and j the quadratic covariation is delta ij t okay if that is the case then what can you say that if i a is not equals to j then delta ij will be zero so the quadratic covariation will be zero if i is equal to j then m i and b are actually is the same thing so this is actually quadratic variation of the i component of the vector and that is exactly t okay so imagine that we have one such uh, local martingale x such that m k which is you know centralized for that we have this particular property if that is the case then x is a d-dimensional brownian motion okay this is called levis martingale characterization of brownian motion so brownian motion is the only process which has this property mindfully continuous is very important okay there could be some other uh, local martingales which is not continuous and not brownian motion but having the same property but uh, for uh, continuous local martingale this is brownian motion is the only member which has this property that the quadratic variation of uh, a wonderful brown motion is just the time itself suppose m is uh, a stochastic process defined on the probability space omega fp with each and every component mi is uh, continuous local martingale and suppose we have that quadratic covariation of mi and mj is absolutely continuous with respect to t so here we are considering a larger class we saying that okay uh, it is not exactly t but it is absolutely continuous with respect to t okay what does it mean it means that uh, we can actually i mean if we take one interval where uh, there uh, this quadratic covariation okay which is increasing process that increasing process uh, the difference okay would be made smaller and smaller if we make uh, the uh, increment of the time smaller and smaller okay and uh, i mean in the sense that okay does i mean when if i to take a finitely you know finite union of intervals with uh, measure delta sum of the length is delta does not matter where are these you know intervals located so i can always find out one uh, 
the small round number variable epsilon such that we can uh, th that uh, I mean given epsilon I can always fi find out the small delta such that whenever these you know small sum of the intervals of the time is uh, size is less than delta the difference corresponding difference of increments would also be uh, less than epsilon okay. So, that is the meaning of this. So, this is, a, this is basically um, absolutely con continuous. So, T is same as saying that this is just absolutely continuous, okay. This is absolutely continuous. Then there is an extension, okay. This extension in which sense that uh, like you know we can augment omega to make a larger omega tilde say and then correspondingly you know we have to increase you know we have to change the sigma algebra and also the probability measure. But it is possible is possible to you know in uh, extend the probability space such that on which we can define a d dimensional Brownian motion w and a matrix x which is in the pw class what is pw uh, pm class we have already seen right that uh, you know it is progressively measurable okay i mean not possible that is p star p class is just the adapted and uh, this probability of um, the integration with respect to the quadrivation here quadrivation of w is just time is finite that probability is 1 okay so what is the conclusion conclusion is that for such uh, process m we can find out a larger uh, probability space on which you can construct a brown emission w and one process one matrix value process x such that this m can be written as integration of x with respect to w. So, m can be written as I mean here we cannot claim m is exactly w earlier as we have done, but uh, here because you know here uh, quadrivation is not so there is a typo there should be you know right angle notation. So, because quadrivation of this is just absolute continuous with this t, but using that thing one can construct this you know integrand x a matrix and this vector w you know this brownian motion d dimensional brownian motion and then this integration has a proper meaning correct that uh, matrix and the vector so you are going to get a vector d dimensional process only and that d dimensional process used to coincide with mt okay so this matrix multiplication is uh, here written in this manner k is equal to 1 to d x i k d w k this is nothing but the matrix multiplication right? this is the matrix this is a uh, vector okay and 0 to t okay here, here i should have written 0 to t so that is uh, basically saying that uh, does not matter what is your martingale as long as your martingale's quadratic variation process is an absolutely continuous process okay then that in C look that you know m is not even martingale it is just a local martingale then that local martingale mt can be written as integration of a matrix okay adapted and uh, which is in the pw class matrix with a brownian motion that means that we can represent that martingale in terms of brownian motion basically so that actually states that Brownian motion is actually building blocks of the stochastic processes as long as you are dealing with the cases where the quadratic variation is absolutely continuous process okay and also the formula we see now uh, that uh, if we look at the quadratic covariation of the i th and j th component of this uh, local martingale that can also be written in terms of this matrix x okay that uh, x i k x j k and sum over k is equal to 1 to d. So, what you are going to get is that is this. So, this is the matrix correct uh, for i j. So, you are also going to get this is the matrix multiplication correct. So, you are going to get this matrix and this matrix you are just uh, taking integration okay 0 to t. So, you are going to get this matrix m i j. Okay, so, this is time change for Martingale. This is another way of uh, viewing Brownian motion as a building block okay another way. So, what is this? This is uh, the work of Dembis in 1965, Dubin uh, Schwarz in 1965. This is quite old work. So, this says that uh, when M is a continuous local martingale and which satisfies this particular condition, okay. So, this is just saying that it is not a uh, converging to a finite number. So, as t tends to infinity, quadrivision of M t is going to infinity, okay. I mean, so Brown emotion has that, of course, and uh, which process do not have that for example you take a arbitrary local martingale and then you consider a stop process localization where using a stopping time 
which is the hitting time of a boundary of a, some kind of big ball. So then, then that would be like you know, you know uh, doesn't matter what t is, this would be bounded, is fixed. It would not go to infinity. So only thing is that you should, I mean, if we do not consider that type of processes, okay. So here the quadratic variation process grows to infinity. So under this condition, we can define this uh, random variable T s for each and every positive number s such that this is infimum of u such that quadrivation m u is greater than s. So what does it do? This is actually so, some sort of generalized inverse, correct? Inverse of a function. If a function, uh, you know, m u is exactly a bijection, okay, from close zero to infinity to close zero to infinity then this would actually coincide with the m inverse. However, sometimes you know m uh, may have a some kind of may have constancy. Okay? So, those kind of things uh, there we cannot talk about inverse, but we can of course talk about this infimum. So, when it crosses s for the first time, okay? when it crosses s for the first time. So, that is called T s. If you are finding this formula little you know non-intuitive, you can think this just inverse of m, just generalized inverse of m. Okay? Also, uh, we use like you know percentile function for you know inverting uh, CDF etc. Also in this same manner, correct? Right? Okay, so here this T S we first uh, see that T S is a is an F T stopping time. Okay, so let us see how to do that. This is actually very trivial. So we consider this uh, event set of um, the sample points such that T S of omega is less than T. So, when T s is less than T, what does it mean? That uh, uh, before time T, okay, that M u has crossed S. Because M u, uh, when M u crosses S for the first time, that is a T s. And T s is less than T, that means, I mean, before T, T s has crossed S, okay. So, that means at T, M t of course has crossed because M t is increasing process, correct. The quadrivation process is an increasing process. So, M t, so this is same as, I mean, Actually, first you get that okay, this is a subset of that because this implies this, and the reverse also is also you, you can expect. So, this is equal, these two events are equal. And here, if you look at this uh, event, what is this? This is that uh, mt is ft measurable, okay, and then we are asking that okay, the set of uh, events under which mt is more than s, okay, s is a fixed uh, real number. So, that event is of course in the same sigma algebra ft, so therefore, this is an ft. So, we have uh, therefore shown that uh, this is true capital T s is uh, sorry capital T s is less than T that event is in F t for every t positive. Okay? So, that in turn says that okay, capital T s is an F t stopping time. Okay? Now, we have a family of stopping times right? for each and every s we have a stopping time okay? T s okay? family of stopping times. Now, we consider uh, the time change process B. Okay, so B is the process B s where B s is given by this. What is this? B s is defined as capital M evaluated at time capital T of S. Okay, so you, now uh, this is important. You can think that okay, T s is the inverse of quadratic variation of M, correct? And then if you put small t here, okay, this T s is equal to small t, then S would be that quadratic variation at t, correct? Because this is the inverse, okay? So t inverse would be ms, correct? So b m s, I mean, quadratic variation ms would be ms, okay? So that we are going to get here that m t is equal to b quadratic variation of t, okay? Now what would be the what should be the measurability of b? Uh, that uh, for that we have to change the filtration also. Uh, depend because now time has changed, right? So therefore, filtration should also change. So we are going to take f subscript T s, correct? So because this is a stopping time, so for this particular stopping time, we have stopped sigma algebra, and as s is increasing, T s is also non-decreasing process. So this would give me another filtration, okay, coming from the stop sigma algebra, okay? Uh, and if you call this as the filtration G s, so this B s is G s adapted okay and um, this is also brownian motion this is a brownian motion and this brownian motion uh, it has this property okay that bm uh, this t is equal to mt 
and now you can actually take quadrant variation of this thing. So, quadrant variation of this process Vt on the right hand side and left hand side goes into Mt. You are going to see that okay, that thing would match with this value. So, basically, from here, one can uh, easily find out there is a Brownian motion if you can show me because the quadrivation of this would be exactly would match. This would match. Okay. So, this is the last slide. So, fifth point, sixth point. If x is uh, uh, progressively measurable, okay, so x is a progressive measurable uh, process such that this is actually, I mean, in p star of m basically, that probability of integration 0 to infinity x t squared d, you know, quadrivation m t is finite with probability 1 and is progressively measurable. Then y defined as time change process of x, x subscript capital T s is adapted to G s okay, because you know there is a time change which since we have to change the time. So, we have to change the filtration also is added to the G s filtration and almost surely we have following properties. Okay. So, here this is not very surprising uh, let me explain why because you know uh, this x t square in integration 0 to t dmt is finite uh, with probability 1 correct. So, if we can you know take control of this thing then x t square is uh, not growing much. So, here uh, x t s is y s. So, y s square is uh, like uh, the time when you know m t you know just crosses s ok. So, that thing is there ok. So, uh, for a fixed s and then we are considering s running from 0 to infinity ok that is uh, finite. This is like a time change formula and here we have uh, integration of x dm for example you con we consider and now we apply the time change formula. So, here if we replace uh, v by t s you know so here like t s is there. So, if we replace this by T s ok. So, then we are going to get for x also T s is y s. So, instead of that I am going to get y s here uh, instead of uh, m T s we are going to get the brown motion here and then instead of small t we are going to get the quadrivation of m at t ok. There is one more identity. So, this identity is saying that here we had 0 to t instead of that here if we have integration 0 to capital T s, but integral and integrators are same just the limit have changed. So, then for small t here we have got uh, the quadrivation of m and this is like inverse of that. So, we are going to get this s here correct s here. So, here all others are same ok for all is good. Okay, thank you very much.